everyone welcome back to my channel my name is nick and today i'm building another house in the sims 4 this one you may recognize from the movie the notebook i wanted to build that house i don't know why i was inspired and i just wanted to give it a shot so this is my attempt i took some creative liberties with it in a few seconds i'll throw up the picture of the actual house so you can see my inspiration it's very big a lot bigger than i thought it was actually there are six bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms in this house here you can actually see the front of the house with noah from the movie in front of it i haven't seen the movie in a really long time if i'm being honest i just googled pictures of the house and that's how i built it I think the one in the movie doesn't have this feature off to the side. It may, but I'm not positive if that's a feature that is only present in the real house. <laughs> I should have done a little bit more research before. I apologize. But I hope that that doesn't take away from how absolutely amazing this house is. It's a classic American Southern style home. I would say colonial as well. You could use that word to describe it. It's really symmetrical on the outside from the front. The little pieces like this side porch and the one on the other side aren't exactly identical, but they have the same effect and the house just looks really, really nice, especially on this lot in this community where I have have this trend of building other houses for movies in this little neighborhood so i think i'll replace the goth house at some point with potentially another house from a movie let me know what movie you would want it to be from it could be from a tv show as well but you can kind of see the vibe there's the american horror story um murder house mansion across the street and the psycho house kitty corner so really good company <laughs> This house, I don't use any custom content for. I use, surprisingly, not that many packs, in my opinion. Mostly because it's not furnished. The bathrooms are, and all of the walls are painted, and there's lighting. So you can go in and make each room your own. It's just a big house to furnish. I would rather get this video out sooner than later and show you the outside and give you time to decorate the inside if you wanted to before I take a stab at it. But I'm excited. I think you're set up for success with the floors and wallpaper combinations that I chose if you choose to download this house. If you want to, you can find it on The Sims 4 Gallery under my user ID at Nicholas Game. It costs $95,945, but I would recommend you just turn on the free real estate sheet or mother load a bunch because that's a expensive home to not be furnished at all but you know you get what you pay for it this is a really really pretty house it looks so opulent so grand so rich i love the combination of different materials and these really large trees that i start putting around the lot i wanted to make sure that the landscaping was very manicured and intentional and that you were able to really get around the property easily so i took some creative liberties there especially the real house is on what looks like just a really really big plot of land and it kind of just sits there and it's beautiful and gorgeous in its own way i wanted it to fit this neighborhood a bit more so i added some more features on the outside there's also this little entrance that you can get in from the little pathway that goes between this lot and the lot next to it where the goth house is so there's just a lot of ways to access this property but i still imagine it would be pretty private that's why i put a lot of fencing around the front and there's gates and I eventually make this back into a big pool and that's really fun. I didn't have any reference for the back of the house so that one I totally made up. I think 
It looks cool. I don't know if this house has a pool in real life, but it should. I would want a pool if I lived in a house like this. I'm just really proud of this one. There's so many balconies, and that's one of my favorite features in a house. Who doesn't want a balcony? And if you can have it off of more rooms, do it. <laughs> that's my recommendation. If you're building a house and you're contemplating, do I add a balcony here? Go for it. Because when it's really nice out and there's a really pretty sunset or sunrise and you see it coming out from that side of the house, you're going to wish you had a balcony. That is a good enough reason, in my opinion, to always vote yes for the balcony. It also just makes for such amazing outdoor living space. I decorated it very simple and used some pretty consistent furniture across it so that it could be really applicable to a whole variety of sims and families that you would want to put in here. You could even turn it into like a museum or something. I could totally see you doing that. It's just, it has that vibe of a house that should be preserved and studied. I don't know if I would go that far, I'm being a little dramatic. Here I'm adding in the pool and I don't really play the live mode too much, so I don't get too much functionality out of them, but I think it's a nice feature to have. Make sure to stay tuned for the end of the video because I have some screenshots in there and I also included some real pictures for reference so you could see what I was actually comparing to side by side. The roof on this one was really cool. I love how there's a whole expansive third floor tucked in the roof. Isn't that just great? I don't know, I love that. Just gives you so much more opportunity and I made it to very large rooms and I think there's a bathroom up there as well. So plenty, plenty of space in this house to do anything you want to. I'm just adding some finishing touches right now. These little gates to frame some of the side patios and tweaking the very last bit of the different portios, portios, patios and porches, balconies, all that jazz. You can't even really see it from the street, all the decorations up there, which I think a big win. All right, we're at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more Sims content. See ya.